Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a few parking spot videos and uh, I'm going to start with this one. I just got the the parking spot pop-up, the auto park feature and I'm on FSD version, let's see which one was it, 11.4.7. Uh, the software version is 2023.7.30. So yeah, it's um, if, if you know you have a non-FSD car and you're not on FSD, you'll probably have more recent software. So it's telling me, I just popped at the, uh, I tapped at the P and then it's telling me to shift to reverse. So I'm going to do that. Let's see if it works. And then how do I get it to, okay, there we go. You just tap on start and it should technically park itself. A little bit crooked over here. We've got a car right in front of us. Actually, you know, I haven't really used auto auto park in like probably more than a year. So, <laughs> and it's whenever it pops up for me, it's not when I want it to work. So right now I'm not doing anything. I don't really see any other uh, features on on the left hand side of the screen. So I was hoping I can see the cars around me like a 360 degree camera. But uh, yeah, it's pretty crooked. You can see over here. I could have done a better job. So this is the third time around it's reversing and going forward and adjusting. Let's see how it does it now. Yeah, and it's still crooked. <laughs> That's okay, it's bet between the lines, so I'm happy with that. And there we go. Awesome. So if you haven't seen my other 360 degree camera videos, um, I'll link them up on the top right, you can see them. Uh, really, I just want to showcase the, the different graphics that we're getting right now. Um, right now, I even noticed that we start we started seeing lanes or parking lines on the on the 360 uh, visual over here, and that never used to happen. Actually, just a couple of versions ago, I've noticed this is a new thing as well. So we'll do a a, a nose in and a backup uh, park, and we'll see if we can do auto park again. Um, but here we go. So let's go straight ahead. Let me try and park right next to this vehicle over here. As you get closer, it should really show me a bird's eye view of the whole situation. And here we go. And yeah, if I go a little bit closer, I still have a lot of leeway. And there we go. And this is... Uh, the other thing also you notice that with ultrasonic sensor cars, which is like mine, I've got a 2021 uh, Model Y with ultrasonic, you don't really see the curves around the car. And um, with the recent uh, Hardware 4 and uh, non-ultrasonic sensor cars, it's only pure Tesla vision, so you actually see the curves and you see the dis dis distances from there. So if I get closer a little bit, it should technically... Yeah, there we go, and it pops up the, the distance from my side to the parking, to the car in front of me. All right, let's hit reverse, and yeah, my parking is also crooked. And we'll try and do a, a backup parking. So yeah, I guess the, the only new thing over here is probably the, the lane markings at the parking spot, parking spot markings, I guess. All right, so I was just trying to avoid that car over there. And then, ooh, let's see if we can get the... Oh, okay, so it's giving me the indicator. Let's see how it does this time around for an auto park. And then we'll do a manual park and backup parking. I really wish I could make it in one shot. I can probably get away with one or, you know, one adjustment uh doing the auto park but other than that i'm, I'm glad that auto park actually works now because <laughs> it doesn't really it didn't pop up for me at all for the longest period so i'm glad we've got it back at least um there we go one adjustment only and it parked itself so that's not too bad actually yeah, it's a little bit crooked but i'll take it all right let's try and do a backup parking over here and this will be our last one there we go the car pops up over here so we can see it on the 
bird's eye view and then as we back up the other one pops up too and it's a truck and it's actually indicated very properly it's telling me that I'm getting too close in that corner so I'm gonna adjust my parking I am getting a, a bit close to that side too actually now that I notice it might be just a, a tight spot that's all but yeah there we go and you can see actually the, the even the cars are not shaking that much anymore uh, let me know in the comments below what do you think about the any the improvements in the lane like I, I really like seeing the the parking lanes right now and that didn't happen before so slowly we're starting to see additional objects in that in the 3d visualization let's do one last one last auto park and then we'll call it a day so yeah folks thanks so much for watching and i really hope uh you like this video please if you do like it please hit like and please subscribe to my channel It'll help me a lot um i'll let it finish this and then i'll end the video hope you folks have a nice one we'll see you in the next video sweet